Mm. You are f***ing lazy. I'm going to say it straight up. The bottom line is laziness. People are lazy. People don't want to work. Yeah. If you have a degree and you are sitting at home, you are f***ing lazy as f***. Black people, we are lazy. And people are scared to say that. I'm not scared to say black people are lazy. Uh, not everyone. No, yeah. not everyone. Not yes, everyone. I agree with yes. you. South Africa faces an ongoing youth unemployment crisis. But as many employers struggle to fill the vacancies that are available, it's clear the problem is bigger than just a shortage of jobs. Youth unemployment is not a problem that cannot be solved. All we need to do is to find Pathways. I'm just giving South Africans are lazy. Oh, yeah, no, 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 they don't want to work. Shut if they up, really up. wanted to work, they'd really be out there hunting Shut or they'd be starting their own things. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new episode of Nox and Marubi Unfiltered. I'm Nox, here's Marubi. In this new episode of Nox and Marubi, we'll be looking at are South Africans lazy or are they looking for handouts or not? Please leave a comment down below letting us know of your thoughts. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's enjoy the show. South Africans are feeling hopeless and angry. That's the reaction to the 32.9% unemployment rate. <laughs> there is corruption everywhere. Corruption is what made you unemployed. Unemployment is at a record high. Poverty is at a record high. And crime Gangs and drugs are claiming more and more of our youth than ever before. They do make me numb. I feel very hopeless. I am actually a final year student. And I ask myself when I graduate next year, will I ever, ever get a If you go to like, go, uh, no, no, I'm just, I'm just explaining. We're going to have this conversation I'm, again. I'm, I'm just giving South you. Africans are lazy. Oh, yeah, no. No. They don't up. want to work. Shut if they up. really wanted to work, they'd really be out there hunting Shut or they'd be starting their own things. No. Yeah, but uh, some of them are home. They're, they're, they're not everyone. No, yeah. not everyone. Not yes, everyone. I agree with yes, you. But then the yeah. ones that, especially the ones that get degrees mm. that are sitting at home, no. you are fucking lazy. I'm going to say it straight up. If you have a degree and you are sitting at home, you are fucking lazy yeah, as there's, fuck there's, i won't lie and there. young no I'm, I'm talking about young i'm not talking about uh, all all the guys all the guys i can understand that they they were working in this one job and this is all they knew okay. and suddenly poof it's all gone i get that they kind of just and all that okay. stuff because like get in this modern day world especially if you went trying to adjust to it mm -hmm. it's gonna beat you up but you that's young that's, you that's, kid that's got a degree now nah, fuck that shit no who yeah degree, they are trying. if you are trying don't get me wrong People if you are trying yeah like 10, if you are trying five, five no, no. Yes. you can get a i job. don't deny that the feeling that it creates the most is just a sense of anxiety at some point i'm looking at it as my degree will be equivalent to a matric. I won't be able to get employment anyway. Honestly, disappointed but not surprised. And I think it's mainly because this is not a problem that can simply be solved by any ruling party. It's a systematic problem. The society that we live in, the country that we have structured since 1994, is designed for this to happen. I'm saying, uh -huh. you, if you, especially if you have a degree, you have what? the knowledge of that industry, right? Okay. Further it to be able to start something How in that industry. What do you mean? You don't have the I don't money. have a degree. Yeah, I am. Okay, but you have a family support, Ruben. <laughs> Some people don't even have that in their life, so okay. they, they can fall on anything. So they, you know, it's, it's kind of like a rough thing. Like, because that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, there's situations where you can just go, yeah, you're lazy, mother effer. Mm -hmm. But there's some situations where you have to go, ah, nah. What? Like, where, where, where you kind of have to go, okay, I understand your situation. Mm. Yeah, I can see you're trying. And, mm. you know, it's Caesar, Caesar Glomoly says it, man, the, you know, People don't give luck the it's it's thing, it's flowers, you know. Because in most cases it's saying yeah, hard work, yeah, that's mm. good. But luck, that's number one. You mm. need luck in life to get a lot of things. So Well in South Africa you need a whole lot more luck you, you than in luck. other places. You can work hard, but if you you know if if you're not lucky to for someone to see you, you know, you're after because it's, it, it's sad when you go and see like at the mall, like because of uh, the the by thingy there's a uh, the mall they were getting paid at the pick and pay mm. and they're sitting outside like it's a lot of young people and I'm like oof this is this is this is rough and I'm walking there dog I I could feel myself just shaking and my heart 
But I was so I was I was in pain because I'm like this is It's a painful is, scene, right? When I'm walking in and they're sitting outside they're waiting for the three fifty. And I'm like, wow, man, the government should, yeah, man, I don't know, man, they should. No, what, what I don't should, know. No, stop. No, no <laughs> look. I don't know. What stop the giving it out. Yeah, I don't know. Stop. I don't know, I don't know the solution. They are I, going to, though, in 2024. That's what they say. After it. the election. Yeah. Okay, wait. Marubi is wrong yet again. <laughs> Come on now, dog. Come on, man. The 350 Rand grant is ending in March 2024 before the national elections. Anyone who says I'm not going to vote is an ANC person. Please register to vote, to use your vote to free South Africa from the ANC. We need to work and we are working very hard to get our people out in their numbers to vote and vote for the ANC. And oh, the government doesn't have solutions yet and the grant hasn't been increased in value. So it's deflating faster than a balloon at a birthday party. I'm a firm believer that there is no problem without a solution. The government is trying to find a new way to help people, but they've failed us so many times, they're starting to look like a broken record. I'm not sure what's more disappointing, their track record of failure or my own naivety for believing they would do any better this time. <coughs> for a more in-depth explanation on social grants, please check out our previous episode titled how South Africa pays billions of rands for sex, a grant paradox. But for now, let's continue with the video. Because I was sitting there looking and going, man, is there anything I can do to employ these young people? You are still encouraging people to not go out there and can try their know? best. Imagine the person that has a child and is receiving the social grant, you just put in 350 rands and 460. Is it 460? Know, yeah, 460. So you put 350 and 460 in their pocket. They're all good. They're good. But yeah, man, guys, I thank you for listening, watching, subscribing, and liking our videos on the on the pod. On the pod. I'm Nox, this is Marubi. Peace out. This is Nox and Marubi. Unfiltered. Unfiltered. <laughs> Is that the song you want? <laughs> <laughs>